You know what's better than getting a retro toy pickup from somebody who had a kid in the 80s? It's when you get a toy pickup from somebody who had two kids in the 80s. And two kids that were born so close together that they might as well have been twins. Which means if one of them had it, the other one had to have the exact same thing. Which is why I was buzzing to find this pair of Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles roller skates on Facebook Marketplace recently. So these came from a couple that had two sons in the 80s that were born very close together. I also got some other cool stuff from this couple but I'm going to get to them in a later video. Today I just want to concentrate on these. And the reason that these roller skates really stood out to me is because I had the exact same ones when I was a kid. They came out in 1990 and were made by MV Sports and Leisure which was actually a UK based company. And you can tell that these were a British release because it says Hero Turtles, not Ninja Turtles. Back in the 80s, people in England didn't like you using the word ninja. But that's a whole different story for a different video. Today, I want to get these things cleaned up. Now, because of the nostalgic attachment that I've got to these skates with me having the same ones as a kid, I want to display them, give them pride of place in my house. But I don't want them looking all dirty. Look at them, they're grimy, they're dirty. I want to get them cleaned up, get them looking nice and get them display worthy. better. Okay, let's clean some fucking roller skates. I'm going to start by trying some of this first. It's called pink stuff. I don't know if you've used it before, but it's like magic. You know that weird orange rusty crusty line that you get around your cooker hob that's impossible to shift? You smear a load of this on it, leave it 10 minutes and scrub it off. You end up with a cooker that looks like it came straight out of the fucking showroom. I love this stuff. I use it on everything. And hopefully it'll do a nice job on these roller skates. Now it's probably a good time to let you know that I am in no way any kind of professional restorer. I do a little bit here and there if something needs cleaning up. I don't know a lot of techniques that people on YouTube will know way better than me. I'm just going with stuff that I've got around the house to try and get these looking nice. I'm also under no impression that I'm going to get these looking like they came straight off the shop shelf. But if we can get most of this grime and this dirt off, make them look nice to display, I'll be happy. I'm also aware that some of this weird plastic synthetic leather that they've used for the actual boot itself is a little bit scuffed and the only way I could get rid of that is by actually painting over it with the exact same paint so I'm not going to try and attempt that today. Like I said, I just want to get these looking nice. So smear that pink stuff all over it, let it soak in. It looks like it's been attacked by the blob or the stuff. <laughs> Love that shit. Attack of the mutant melty marshmallow monster. So already that boot's looking pretty fucking awesome. I'm very happy with that. Just a quick rinse in some hot water with some pink stuff's made it look nice. A thousand times fresher than it looked before I started this. These wheels though and that stopper at the front, it's not really touched them. They still look dirty and grimy. I'm not at all happy with them. So I'm going to actually take them off. Got my spanners and I'm actually going to clean these separately. Also, I'm only doing one pair of boots. I'm not doing both pairs. One, because I want to do a nice side-by-side -side comparison of the clean one next to the old dirty one. And also, each set of these has eight wheels. And I'm not about to start cleaning 16 roller skate wheels for roller skates that I'll never wear. I'm not a fucking madman. So giving these a real good scrub, but it just seems like some of this dirt is indented inside the wheel. It's actually stuck inside them. I've been using these little sandpaper pads to scrub them and they look a lot better than they did but they're still not perfect and I'm not happy with them. So I'm going to really have to think outside the box to get these the way that I want them looking. Okay, now it's night time. I spoke to my friend Jace, who's a real good engineer. He builds stuff, he welds metal, he restores cars, all that stuff. And he told me a little technique to try with these wheels that I think is going to work. This is definitely one of those don't try this at home ones. I'm wearing my gloves, I've got my safety goggles on and what I'm going to try and do is push a bolt through this wheel, tighten it really tight, then use the bolt in the drill chuck, spin that shit really fast, hold sandpaper in my hand and hopefully that cleans the wheels down. 
Okay, here goes nothing. Fucking hell, that gets hot. Okay, so now that I've got a bit used to it, I can hold the sandpaper without it flinging out my hand. And if I don't spin the drill too fast and move it back and forth like that, it doesn't get too hot. I don't want to melt the wheel. These are made from plastic after all, and this is a lot of friction. I'm having to grip the wheel really tight it keeps undoing the bolt so I'm having to take it out of the chuck re-tighten the bolt put it back in the drill and do some more but it seems to be working fucking awesome like I said before this gets really hot in your hand and I really need to make sure that I don't melt these plastic wheels because that will just fuck them up I'm going to switch to a lighter grain sandpaper now, some wet and dry, get this a lot more smooth. I could maybe spend a bit longer, I spent about 20 minutes on this one wheel just trying to get it looking nice. And I feel it looks a thousand times better. Just seven more to go. I'll catch up with you at the end. So as you can see, not perfect, but way better than they was when I got them. A good few hours scrubbing and graft to get these looking nice, but way worth it. They're going to look awesome displayed now. I could have gone for an even finer grit sandpaper on the wheels, used a buffer cup, maybe even sanded them down even more and got every single tiny little bit of black dirt out of them, but some was indented in it so deep, and also the kids that had these must have had so much fun playing with them, that wear and tear is part of the history of these pieces, so I don't want to clean them up too much, I'm really happy with how they look. And also they're worlds apart if you compare them next to each other, the before and the after. I think they came out awesome. So there you have it, a very fun little project. It was cool enough to find these anyway, with me having them as a kid, just seeing them was so awesome and to be able to get two pairs was incredible. I remember a few years ago I saw a pair of these on my friend Alex's stall at the NEC Toy Fair and it was so cool to see them again after all these years. So it was a real fun little project to get a nice pair and give them a good clean up and that, like I said, they're going to look so cool displayed in my collection. I want to say a big shout out to Jace for telling me the idea to use the drill. I would have never thought of that myself but it worked perfect. Shouts to Malik as well that got me a few of the bits I needed to complete this. And to my boy Slacky for driving me to get them from the Facebook marketplace. And if you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below letting me know if you've got any other techniques that you think I should have used or if you've got any cool stories or a store in something like this or an old toy that you think I should know about. You've probably noticed, but I'm really trying to hit the YouTube hard this year, bring out as many videos as possible. So there's a whole back catalogue of videos that you can go back and binge if this is your first time here at Slimehouse. You can also get at me on Instagram at Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse. I'm always dropping lots of exclusive pictures on there and it's the best place to be if you want to keep up to date with everything that I've got going on. Also, if you want to help support Slimehouse a bit more, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Slimehouse TV and for as little as a dollar a month or more if you're feeling a little bit generous, you can become a Slime Renegade and help make Slimehouse bigger and better than ever. Once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to catch you next Tuesday for Toy Talk Tuesday. And I might even have a little exclusive drop midweek for you as well. So make sure you keep your eyes open for that. In the meantime, I'm Theo Kane. This is Slimehouse TV. And I'm going to catch you in the next video. But until then, I'm gone. Cowabunga, dudes.